Okay, this Nintendo Direct, while disappointing for some because of no Metroid Prime or Breath of the Wild 2, was actually fantastic if you love local multiplayer games. About 40% of the Direct was actually dedicated to local multiplayer games. So we have about eight games in total to talk about. The first fantastic announcement was Mario Strikers Battle League. I mean, wow, does this just look like a blast. Now, honestly, I'm not a big fan of soccer. I spent two years in Africa and got absolutely pwned by the native Africans. But this looks so fun. I have not played the previous Mario Strikers games, but will absolutely be buying this one when it's released on June 10th. Oh yeah, and pre-orders start today, so check the description for links. We had a couple of other quick announcements, like a Mario Kart clone from Disney and Pixar. It looks okay, but its main attraction is that it will be free to play, and it will have crossplay. So, for those of you who have tight wallets, this will be a great game for you to pick up this summer. The Force Unleashed is also making a comeback from the Wii onto the Switch. While the whole game is not multiplayer, you can, in their words, duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. Another big game coming soon is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We have seen quite a bit about this game, and I honestly have not been incredibly impressed with the multiplayer I've seen. But regardless, this is definitely another pickup for us. The inspiration from Mario Odyssey is plain and we cannot wait to jump into this gorgeous gem. There were a couple more quick announcements, such as new DLC for Cuphead, and we finally have a release date for Advance Wars 1 Plus 2. It will be coming April 8th with what looks like local multiplayer and online play for up to four players. Now, they made a pretty big deal about 48 newly remastered courses coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the form of paid DLC. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to get your hands on all of these courses until the end of 2023. So we're not really sure why they didn't just turn this into a Mario Kart 9, but hey, at least it's cheaper coming in the form of DLC. They also made a big hurrah about Nintendo Switch Sports, which is a reincarnation of Wii Sports and Wii Resort. They've added a couple new games and kept a couple of old ones. As for us, we'll be waiting for some reviews to come out before we pick this one up, as we do have our Wii set up specifically for Wii Sports and Wii Resort, and it probably runs a little bit better with the motion controls there. As a quick side note, they did have a terribly cringy moment where they decided to play tennis for about 20 seconds or so, and uh, I won't make you watch all of that. Now, I saved the best for last, so I sincerely hope that you stuck around till the end. This game is old, but I am so excited to have it on this generation of consoles. Portal 2 is one of the best co-op games out there, and the Nintendo Switch version will support local co-op. If you love solving co-op puzzles and blowing your own freaking mind with what's possible, then this game is definitely a pickup for you. It is actually coming as a companion pack with both games, but while the first game is good, the second is an absolute masterpiece. I'm just gonna have to find someone else to play with me as first person games make Carly a little motion sick. Unfortunately, there was no release date there, so you're just gonna have to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on the release of Portal 2. Now, click on this video right here to see some couch co-op games you have not played, but you really need to. We love you guys. Y'all are awesome.